Hey folks, Wayne over to Ram Man Inc. Brake specialist, helping out the world, especially with them Mopars and those Fords. We got a friend of ours with an AR uh, CUDA, and he did something what a lot of people do. Uh, he put that dot five in the system, and then he had problems. And uh, there's a lot of people on these forums, and been a lot of debate over the years and all that. And I'm just going to tell you the facts. After messing around with brakes, me and Uncle Ron and Joe for 40 years, we know what's going on, and we don't need a forum to tell us. Here's the deal. Dot 5 brake fluid is a low performance fluid. It's not used anywhere in racing. As a matter of fact, it's one of the few fluids that there is that has so much oxygen in it, it actually has compressibility. It's only good quality is it's a little easier on the paint. And we have people with these cars telling us, well, I don't want, I don't want to damage my paint. Well, putting dot five in it is not the solution. Down here in Texas, we call that kind of stuff rigging. The correct situation and solution is to fix your leaky brake fluid. Vehicles are not supposed to leak brake fluid, so if you need a new gasket or something like that, maybe that's the solution. Like I said, dot five. Now, oftentimes it will form a chemical reaction. And what we've seen is, it's not really so much one or the other, but if they mix a little bit with the dot three and dot four on a microscopic level, remember my background's micro, uh, microbiology, if it mixes on any level, it seems like there's a kind of re a reaction that exacerbates the situation. And I don't care what you say, I'm gonna flush it out with denatured alcohol, my car's all new or whatever, you're running a risk. We tell people in, in, in our products and stuff, if you're running dot five, there's no warranty. So our friend is sending in his components for his AR, his uh, combination valve, this TA valve, and here's a perfect example. I've got it all tore apart and the parts strewn out everywhere. Okay, look what has happened to that proportion valve cup. It has swelled beyond belief. Some of these other, here's the new rebuilt correct one. Look at the size difference of that right there. Don't tell me Dot 5 doesn't cause any problems or can't react with anything because anybody that tells me that is an idiot. With certain rubbers, especially our older rubbers, natural rubbers, you can get a reaction going on. And you have to remember something. Brake fluid was formulated to work with some of them older rubbers when cars came out. It was made specifically. They had to find something. We go over here at Dot 5 or petroleum products. Any hydrocarbon petroleum products and our natural rubbers or whatever, you can get a really bad reaction. Here we go, I wanted to do something just for fun. Here's a master cylinder gasket, an original one for a bee body, and we just dipped it in a petroleum product. Oh, it's just mineral spirits. Now, there's what one's supposed to look like. And there's one after having him a little bit of reaction. So, don't tell me that it can't happen and can't affect nothing and can't swell the seals and the cups. Exactly what I showed you over there on that proportion valve piston. So there you go, my friends. You debate that on the forums. All right? God bless you. God bless America. And happy Mopar.